weekend with Lauren and her family in New Jersey. Lauren and I were there on Thursday at a TCNJ, actually. We had a show there leading up to the release of the new movie. And then we just spent the next few days with her parents. And we noticed something a little bit strange, a little bit out of the ordinary. We had lunch with her mom on Friday, and her mom never at any point brought up the wedding. We also had this awesome pre-Thanksgiving dinner on Saturday with her dad and stepmother and neither of them brought up the wedding. We did hang out with Nina and her boyfriend Mike on Friday night, and they brought up the wedding, but her parents were just very unusually silent about the subject. I'm not exactly sure why, but I think maybe they might just be giving us a little space, or maybe they figure we're in a good position now that we have a venue. Either way, it was just a little strange. One thing that I've had on my mind a lot the past few days is that Lauren's family is very steeped in tradition, specifically surrounding the holidays and Christmas. They just have routines that they really stick to every year and try to keep going. And it's something that's not only important to her parents, but also important to her siblings. Lauren has a 13-year-old sister, Alyssa, and I believe an 18-year-old sister, Danielle. And she also has two uh, step-siblings, and they are actually right around my age. I'm 31, and my parents are kind of of the mind, generally, that they don't need to go all out and do crazy stuff for Christmas anymore. It's mostly we just get together, eat a meal, exchange a couple gifts, and, you know, that's good enough for us. Lauren's family, on the other hand, they're just all really into traditions and crazy, like, go all out type Christmas stuff. On uh, Saturday night, uh, when we were having dinner with her dad and stepmother, we actually spent uh, most of our time after dinner making Christmas ornaments for homeless children. And this was probably one of the most heartwarming and wholesome things I've done in a very, very long time. Lauren has also warned me ahead of time that one of the traditions with her dad and stepmother is that they all buy matching pajamas. And they all put them on on Christmas morning. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this sounds a little bit intimidating to me at this point. Like, I don't think I've slept over any of my parents' houses since I was, like, 18. I mean, or 20, maybe. It's been a long time. But, on the other hand, you know, it's kind of actually really an attractive idea to me. I miss that feeling. I miss that feeling of being young and having parents who sort of engage me like a child. I think I only miss that because it hasn't happened in a long time. If it happened, like, continually into my 30s, I would be a little uncomfortable and I'd be having talks with my parents. But they really have treated me like an adult since I've been an adult, which I think is a really good thing. But that doesn't change the fact that I do kind of miss just that excitement that comes with a holiday like Christmas. So, yeah, I guess going into my first Christmas really legitimately being a part of Lauren's family, I'm kind of excited about engaging in those old traditions again. I would like you guys to leave in the comments any sort of unique, weird traditions that you have for the holidays. And even if it's not like weird or unique, if it's just something that you really look forward to, uh, let me know about it in the comments because it is fun to share this stuff with my friends. So right before I filmed this video, I sent out a tweet asking people to ask me questions they'd like answered in this video. I did that like five minutes ago, so I haven't really gotten many. Looking at my little smartphone here. I did get a couple questions about the New York City Wizard Rock Festival, uh, which happened yesterday. What was my favorite part of that? Definitely Snidget. Snidget was amazing, and I've been playing shows with Snidget for years. We almost basically started off playing shows together. And she played with a full band for the first time, at least that I've seen, and it was fantastic. I was very pleased to see Steph and Melissa this weekend. That was really, really awesome. I knew I was going to see Steph and I was excited about it, but I did not expect to see Melissa. So that was a very pleasant surprise. Steph and Monica, I look forward to seeing your faces on my computer screen tomorrow. See you guys later.